Okay, right now, I want to talk about this book right here, Tony Zale, The Man of Steel. Now, we had the two authors on this uh, show uh, several weeks back, uh, the nephew of Tony Zale, Thad Zale, and uh, my man Clay Moyle, who uh, has written some great books, including one of my favorites, uh, Sam Langford book. And um, I hadn't had a chance to read the book uh, when we had these guys on. And they were uh, telling us uh, uh, about the book and uh, giving us uh, a lot of, uh, you know, wait till you read this, wait till you read that. Well, I, I don't want to give too much away on the book, but I'm going to tell you this. I strongly suggest that you go out and buy a copy of this book. Now, whether you know who Tony Zale is or not, I think it's a really good idea to learn about who this man was. In addition to that, the book uh, highlights uh, really one of the best trilogies in the sport of boxing. The Tony Zale, Rocky Graziano trilogies uh, were great. And you also get to meet uh, the guy who uh, Jake LaMotta fought uh, in, in uh, Marcel Serdan and the, the fight that uh, ended up being uh, Tony Zale's uh, uh, last professional fight. Uh, it's a great book uh, about Tony Zale inside the ring, how he got there, the type of guy he is and was, I should say, uh, in terms of conditioning and everything else. But what goes deeper uh, in this book, what this book gets into, uh, is the struggles that Tony Zale uh, had to go through uh, during his career and even after his career. Um, you know, I, like I said, you'll be able to get a copy of this book. You can visit our website, www.billycboxing.com, and click on the book club, and uh, you can get uh, directed right to where you can pick up a copy of this book. You could also go to TonyZale.org, or if you're going up to the International Boxing Hall of Fame uh, in a few weeks, uh, Tony, uh, the Tony Zale book uh, will be available there. Thad Zale uh, and Clay Moyle will have a table uh, at the uh, uh, at the uh, uh, card show, and you can pick up a copy. I, I strongly recommend it. Let me tell you some stuff. Let me tell you some stuff. The boxing stuff, okay, you read all of that. But let me tell you some of the other things that are in this book. Now, Thad Zale was the nephew of Tony Zale. And, you know, they got to spend uh, a lot of time together when Thad was young. And then uh, again, when uh, when Tony was uh, older uh, and uh, they were working, uh, collaborating on doing this book. And uh, actually, uh, Tony Zale had made Thad Zale promise that he would write a book about him. And uh, uh, they just got around to it. It was released uh, earlier this year. Um, now, this book, what it gets into is some interesting stuff. First of all. What kind of guy was Tony Zale? Well, you know, he, he, he invested, he, he almost seemed like he was, if you read the Primo Carnero book, I was talking to Austin Colleen about this, he almost seems like he was a Polish version of Primo Carnero, not fight-wise, because he was much more talented and much more exciting inside the ring, but this was a man that really trusted a lot of people, and it seemed like a lot of people around him, including his own family members, we're kind of getting the best of them, and at least the way that's the way I interpret uh, this book. You know, Tony never complained, never looked for a handout. Was a very proud guy. Uh, you'll read about uh, what he did to go to work every day, uh, where the conditions he lived in after this was after boxing, and he he invested in the Tucker uh, and lost a, a, a lot of his money uh, when that uh, company went bankrupt. But one of the stories in here that really sticks with me, and you know, I, I don't know if 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 you want to see this or, or or not, but here's the thing: Tony was battling a lot of stuff at home during during his career, during his career with his first wife, and I, you know, I don't want to give a lot of stuff away, but the stuff that this woman did to Tony Zale and their kids, I can only describe as horrific. And both Clay Moyle and Thad Zale do a great job uh, describing uh, the, the things that, that took place uh, with, uh, with his first wife and, and, and the kids. It, it, it's, it, it, horrific is the, is the only way I, I can describe it. Um, but as a true champion, Tony Zale uh, won all of those battles. 
Uh, he lost the one in court, but uh, he won the battles because he got himself back on track. He ended up uh, marrying uh, uh, a, a woman who was a professional baseball player, female baseball player, that they based that movie, uh, you know, with, uh, what do they call it, with Tom Hanks and a field of their own, maybe it was called. Uh, she was actually one of the uh, uh, ball players, uh, not in a movie, she, in real life. Um, uh, so, uh, listen, I highly recommend this book. Get yourself a copy of it. The Tony Zale, Man of Steel, uh, very well written. A lot of photos in this book that you're going to love. Um, it goes through his career, uh, both uh, on his way up and in his championship years. I especially liked uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, chapters on the trilogy with Tony Graziano. And then uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, seeing uh, Tony Zale. Uh, pull himself uh, uh, out of the streets, so to speak, and uh, build his life back up to uh, respectability. Uh, his faith was very strong. Uh, listen, it was a great book, and I think you should get a copy. Uh, you can get a copy of this book by visiting our website, www.billycboxing.com, and clicking on uh, the uh, book club, and that'll link you right to uh, TonyZale.org, or you can go there direct, or if you're going to go up to the International Boxing Hall of Fame this year for the Hall of Fame induction weekend, you could pick a book and get it signed by both Clay Moyle and Thad Zale uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the card show on Saturday. So uh, Tony Zale, the man of steel, uh, and like it says right on the cover, his toughest battles weren't fought inside the ring. And when you read this book, you'll see what. Hey, um, I want to uh, phone line.